Hey everybody, chat spam, Bricky is a weeb, Kappa one, two, three. Oh cool, this is a good start to this game. Oh, bye Aurelia! How the fuck do I win a level 2 trade against an Aurelia? That doesn't work with Yasuo. Yes, everyone, what you heard is true. It has finally happened. The mighty eventually all fall. I have joined the weeb side. Only, not really, kind of, just a little bit, you know. A few Monday vlogs ago, I had some very, very generous people buy me some very nice, like, Blu-ray and regular DVD box sets and stuff like that of various animes, and for a while, they were just collecting dust. And I felt really bad after, like, a certain amount of time, I was just like, I, it's on the desk, I can't just leave it there, that's not cool. You might as well give it a shot. So I gave it a shot. And, well, here we are now. Now, I shouldn't really have to reiterate this, but I'm going to anyway. I know that watching anime doesn't really make you a weeb. There's like a bunch of other factors that have to go into it before you're considered a weeb. It's just a joke I like to play on people and just kind of fuck with people that way. I know, I know, I'm not a weeb. You're probably not a weeb. You just lack watching the animes. It's cool, we're cool. So, of all of the different animes that I was sent, I was sent like a pretty decent amount of like good anime, I decided to choose the one that I hear the most about, and that's Death Note. I have the box cover, box cover right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Both seasons of Death Note, so I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. I said, all right, all right, I'll watch it, I'll start watching it, and it's pretty fucking good. Now, I made an anime, like, Monday vlog a long, long time ago, talking about why I don't watch anime, and the main reason for it was because of, like, the art style, and kind of the anime tropes that you see all the time, like, the, all the stereotypes in, in anime, like, in action scenes, the blurred lines, and, like, a shit ton of yelling and that kind of stuff. Now, Death Note has a couple of these anime tropes, so to speak, you know, these, these stereotypes and things like that, but in all honesty, there's so few of them, considering that this show doesn't seem to have really much action at all. It's just kind of, it's like a mystery story, pretty much. Wow, all right, Aurelia. How the fuck am I three and zero against a top lane Aurelia? This doesn't make any sense. You know, it's, it's not like an action story. It's like a mystery detective kind of story. And it's really interesting. And the characters and the story are just very well done. And I mean, I'm probably going to pronounce this incorrectly, but the, I think it's Shinigami or, or fucking Shashimi or whatever the hell you call him. Uh, Ryuk, I believe. He is by far the greatest fucking character in this entire show. He is so goddamn amazing. I love his character a ton. So far, it's just really enjoyable. Kind of strange. Like, a little bit odd, some of the stuff they do, but it's just, it's just well made. I've made, I've gone through like about eight episodes already, and I'm probably gonna go through more by the time you actually watch this video, but this is, this is the, this is the end, you know? This is the fall of Bricky. The weeb side will finally take over, and, uh, it's, it was a good run. We went very far without watching any anime. We went, we tried so hard, and got so far, but... In the end, in the end, it doesn't really matter, I guess. You know, that's kind of uh, a reason why I decided to go ahead and play Yasuo, because I asked my fans on Twitter, hey, you know, what kind of league champion would you probably consider the most weeb? And it was a cross between Ari and Yasuo, and the, it ended up being Yasuo. Mainly simply for the storyline, I imagine, just his, you know, I'm dishonored kind of storyline. Though, I honestly don't know why the hell I'm able to do so well against the Norelia top lane. It's like, Aurelia, I thought, was like my, my counter. Especially considering that I'm using the Project Yasuo skin, aka the skin you use if you're bad. Oh shit, speaking of bad, I just took like a bunch of tower shots. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, I tried out playing that. Didn't work out. Oh, that, that minion aggro almost killed her at the end, too. Ah, oh well. Next time. Next time. What the hell do you build on top lane Yasuo? Do you go, like, Frozen Mallet still? I'm gonna build Frozen Mallet. Honestly, after watching this anime, I'm probably gonna have to start watching other animes now, because it has been quite enjoyable, and I'm having a decent amount of time, and I'm curious to see what other animes, what other storylines, what other stuff I can go ahead and get. I'm probably gonna watch Black Lagoon next, I think is the next one. Um, Black Lagoon, and then after that I might watch some other stuff, you know, maybe like One Punch Man or something, because this is a pretty damn good storyline. And not only that, but the, the concept is pretty damn unique, you know? 
just this kind of book that you write someone's name in and then they die and you can specify. I don't know, it's just, it's kind of a neat idea. I like the concept. So the concept of like anime such as One Punch Man would really ring an interesting bell in my head. I'm like, that that sounds pretty cool. I might go ahead and give that a shot. And there's a good chance that I probably will once this anime is over. But that is in a little bit. I have two seasons to get through. Granted, I'll probably be done with it by the end of the week considering the pace I'm currently going in. You know, I don't think I've ever bought Ninja Tabby in like years, especially on Yasuo. But their team is all auto attack reliant, or mostly all auto attack reliant. So I'm gonna do it anyway. It seems like it'd be a good idea. Ooh. Yeah, go Ezreal. Yeah, go Ezreal. Yeah, Ezreal. Yeah, Ezreal. Come on, Ezreal. Gonna get you. There's no stopping this train. Hello. Goodbye. You know, back when Yasuo was like built full AD, you know, full crit, all that fun ass stuff, back in those times of days, I was really damn good at the champion. I did excellent, I really enjoyed him, but lately I haven't been enjoying him as much ever since the tank Yasuo meta started coming back in. So I wonder, the fact that I'm 4-1 with 151 CS, which is pretty damn good, against like one of my biggest counters being Aurelia. Why does she have Deathfire Touch? Okay, never mind, now I know why. I was gonna say it's because of, I, because of the anime. You start watching anime, you get better as Yasuo. I mean, look at fucking Trin Immortal. But, I looks like I've debunked that immediately. So yeah. Death Note. Really fucking good so far. Gotta keep watching it. Probably gonna keep watching it while I edit this video. Just surprised and pleased. You know, I still have my, my fair share of problems with like the stereotypical anime stereotypes, but the story and the characters and fucking Ryuk, the most boss ass man on the planet, Apple's motherfucker, is it's pretty damn awesome. So, I gotta admit, I can see what I've been missing. Anyway, I'll go ahead and tell you how this game ends. Seems like bot lane and mid lane aren't doing so hot, but I'm doing pretty damn strong. I'll tell you in the P.O. Box part of this uh, video, which is going to happen pretty much right now. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that kind of turns out. Alright, so the game ended. Unfortunately, we lost. I think I ended with 12 and 7. It, it became difficult because the Varus got really fed. And I had to prioritize either buying armor to fight all the, the full AD team, or buying a scimitar to stop his stun and Irelia's stun. And I went with Scimitar, and it was probably a mistake, and then, I mean, the rest of my team wasn't doing so hot either, so we ended up losing. But, regardless, we have a P.O. box open to do. We have three letters and a very large box over here, so let's go ahead and get started. Dear Taylor, Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm from Buffalo, New York. I've been watching since the Nip Nip trilogy, and I was hooked on your content since then. I absolutely love your way of storytelling and inspired me to write my own stories and really had a lasting impression on my imagination. But I really love your league vids. Every time I get a notification from YouTube or Twitter that a new video is uploaded, I always can't help but smile. Right now I'm in league at Silver 5 and I really don't have a main per se. I guess if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with Zed. I just really want to thank you for all the happiness you have brought into my life. Sincerely, Anthony aka Smile4574 and he drew a, a Pringles Dill Pickle Extreme Crunch little picture on the back. That's pretty funny. Well, thank you very much, Anthony. I appreciate that ton. I'm glad that the videos are, are you no know, enjoyable to you. So I appreciate that, buddy. We have another letter. It says, Hey, Bricky, cheers from Slovakia. Found your channel a few months ago, and I've been a big fan ever since. Your puns were the reason I've subscribed in the first place, so you'll keep them up. I really enjoy watching your videos. You have a great sense of humor and a great style. Thanks to you, I came back to League after a few years of not playing, and I've been enjoying it this time. I wish you all the best in video making. I hope you'll be there for a long time. I also hope you overcome your fear and start enjoying anime. I highly recommend you watch all the ones sent to you. I'm sure you will enjoy them. What a coincidence. <laughs> I love to send you something, but I'm broke as fuck. Most most people are when you're students. So I hope this letter will do. Sorry it's so really structured. I'm writing this at 3 a.m. and I've never been good with letters anyways. That aside, I wish you all the best in the years to come. Kind regards, Raven. P.S. I'm glad Mr. Black goes undefeated. A stray mob arrow definitely doesn't count. P.P.S. I thought I'd fill more space when my handwriting is small, so here's a picture of Sona's butt. Just a little, like, stick figure drawing of a butt with little sound notes next to it. Oh, well, thank you very much, Raven. I'm very glad that you're enjoying League again. It's always nice when you pick up an old game that you didn't really enjoy and you kind of go back to it. And it's a lot more fun, so that's very good to hear. Thank you for the letter. We have another letter. Brick Hero today. I was recently advised to watch your channel, and to be honest, I don't watch commentary videos. I'm impressed and found you to be quite funny, if not crude. I don't know if part of this bit is pulled from Carlin's usage of the word fuck. If not, go watch it. It might surprise you. Although I have a feeling you know it well. I noticed an encompassing theme after binge-watching many of your older works. You like war. 
Well, yeah, most games are centered around war, so yeah. From the game choices to the Iwo Jima poster to the 40k. Oh, well, it's a, it's a Star Wars Iwo Jima poster. It's like, it has a bunch of Imperials, but yeah. Enclosed, I have a military patch which has actually been in war. Not like the frontline war, but part of the Warheads on Foreheads campaigns of the GWOTEM. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, that's, it's a... Pretty old and pretty damn dirty patch, but I think that's why it's like actually real. It's uh, USS John C. St I believe Stennis. I'm gonna go ahead and see if the camera. Oh, there you go. That is like that looks like a legit as fuck patch. God damn, it's it's pretty damn. It's pretty damn old. It's a, like it feels worn. That's that's like a really cool like. Almost like an artifact, almost. Speaking of war, I was surprised to hear you were in 40k, perhaps I'm out of touch, but that doesn't seem like a genre which normally enthralls those of your kind. What got you started in the deep, deep world and deep, deep pocketbook of 40k? Favorite race slash squad? Uh, my buddy I used to work with at Dairy Queen, uh, loved 40k, and so he kind of got me into it. I started learning about the lore and reading about all different factions. I got really interested, so I kept on going. And uh, favorite race slash squad? I play mainly Grey Knights and Imperial Fists. Um, so those are pretty damn awesome. I mean, my buddy plays Necrons, my other buddy plays Eldar, so my other buddy plays Tau. But if I had to choose, like, a favorite, probably be something along the lines of, like, Imperial Fist, Grey Knights, or, like, Salamanders or something. They're all pretty damn awesome. Watching an old video of Nip Nip, and perhaps unlike others, I spent a lifetime in OG Counter-Strike. The handle I wrote for him was actually my CS name, with which I was the leader of a fucked up clan called Nif- Nifing- It's like Nifing Ninjas. It's like N-I-F-I-N-G Ninjas. KD ratios were regularly 10 to 1 in pub, and I found I had an uncanny ability to kill gun-wielding opponents with a knife to further add insult to injury. Have you ever driven down the vintage game avenue, like, pre-2K? Curious. Uh, StarCraft. Old StarCraft, yeah. Like, StarCraft Brood War in the original. I used to play that shit all the time. That's enough for now. I look forward to more. Moist Towelette, aka Dave. But I figure you should know, reference to the Paris number one video. And yes, this was amazingly disappointing when I lived through the fact that cars do not explode when shot. Yes. Yes. I, me I remember actually watching old Mythbusters about do cars explode when you shoot them enough? The answer is no. Every fucking time, like, no. It's just like, well, it started leading, get, leaking gas, or maybe it caught on fire for a little bit. They don't fucking explode. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the believability law that shit does get removed. But still kind of funny, though, to see it occasionally. Regardless, Dave, thank you very much for the letter, and thank you very much for the patch. This is a really damn awesome patch, and I'm I'm just I'm just impressed to, like, to see it, honestly. So thank you very much. Last but not least, we have a box. A really big box. And I don't know what's in it. However, the front of it says... Uh, shit, where'd it go? Dark Sword Armory. Dark Sword Armory. So, we're gonna see what's in this. Well, uh, this, uh... This looks like a sword. Though I can't tell if it's a sword or not because it's covered in plastic. So, we're gonna use our mini sword, aka our bowie knife, to open up the possibly bigger sword. Alrighty. So, after like a good hour of trying to get this goddamn thing out of its consistently multi-wrapped packaging and everything like that, I'm cutting myself multiple times. We have a sword. And not just any regular sword. I mean, I don't know what you call this sword. It's that there's the tip and there it goes all the way up. So it's a pretty damn big sword. Got some nice weight to it and um... Ow. Yeah, I, I cut myself a couple times on this and I stabbed myself more than once on the, on the tip. It is... Th uh, this is really fucking sharp and really cool. <laughs> I don't know what it's made of. I can't seem to find anything about the sword anywhere uh, in the packaging. It came with a sheath, which I should most likely put it in. Because I should probably stop trusting out. I'm all fucking sweaty and shit because I'm trying to open this damn thing. There we go. So, yeah, it's a giant sword and sheath. And not just that, also a little dagger. Also, quite sharp. I don't, I don't know who sent this giant sword and little dagger into... In the P.O. Box, because it doesn't have a name or anything on it. it. There's nothing, it's just a sword. Whichever one of you sent this damn thing. 
It's fucking cool. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. No one's gonna invade my house anymore. No way, man. South Southern California, those dirty ass, those dirty ass like wealthy white white people. You you best back the fuck away. You ain't coming near me. <laughs> God damn. Okay, well, yeah, so that's it for today's P.O. Box opening. I think I should go cut some watermelons or some shit with this fucking thing. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's fucking awesome, dude. Alright. My name's been Brick York today. If you want to send anything to the P.O. Box, put the, the thing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sweaty and shit from trying to open that thing in a baked room. And uh, I'll see you next Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.